All right, let's talk about the Chicago Bears here for a little bit. Look, the Bears have been in the news a lot so far this offseason, mainly about the intrigue, of course, involving quarterback Justin Fields. What are they going to do with Fields? And, of course, the number one overall pick. And we're hearing every single day new reports saying, oh, the Bears are going to do this, or maybe they're going to do that. And I think it's important to understand exactly what the Bears are doing here is that all of these sources, all this information, this isn't coming out of nowhere. We're hearing leaks, insiders going this way, new sources going that way. And that comes from the Bears. And I think right now what the Bears, Ryan Poles and Warren are doing is they're putting up the greatest smokescreen of all time. They've literally confused the entire media. And let me give you an example of this. So this was a screenshot. I literally Googled Chicago Bears news. And a few minutes ago, and this is what came up. And you can see the screenshot on, right there on your on your screen right there on the right. And you notice that at the top, you've got, could Ryan Poles trade up? You've got, the Bears have discussed keeping Justin Fields and drafting a quarterback. We literally have two stories saying that. And then at the bottom, you have two stories, two mock drafts saying the Bears are going to trade Justin Fields. Again, we're all over the map here. We've got the Bears trading Justin Fields from NFL.com. We've got another source saying they're going to keep Justin Fields. We've got another source talking about maybe they're looking to trade up from number nine. Everyone is just really confused at what's going on. And every single day, we're hearing a different insider say the Bears are definitely going to do this. And then everyone reports on that. And then the very next day, another insider says, no, that's wrong. The Bears are going to do this other thing. And then everybody reports on that. And one thing I've finally noticed what's going on is that Ryan Poles and Warren are literally just blasting the media and confusing everybody. They're keeping their cards perfectly to the chest. They hold all the cards and they know it. And the one thing that can just really tilt their hand a little bit would be if someone noticed they were leaning towards one way or the other. Right now, every single day, usually on the hour almost, there's a report they're trading Justin Fields. Then an hour later, they love Justin Fields. They're going to keep him. Next next hour, they're going to draft a quarterback number one. Hour after that, they're looking to trade with the commanders, right? It, it always goes back and forth. And this comes from the Bears front office. I think this is phenomenal by Ryan Poles and Warren. I think this is a deliberate attempt to confuse the rest of the NFL and force them to just go to Chicago with any potential opportunity, any potential deal that the Bears could take advantage of. I think this is a really smart move by the Bears. But Bears fans, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below What do you think or what do you want the Bears to do? I'll put it like that. Do you want them to draft a quarterback number one and trade Justin Fields, keep Justin Fields, trade back, whatever it is? Let me know what you what you want the Bears to do with their current situation in the comment section below. But I want to go back to what Ryan Poles, and I think it's coming mainly from Poles, because we've seen this before. We talk about smoke screens all the time, especially when it comes to combine and certain players. But I don't think we've ever seen anything of this level where we've seen a front office literally use the media like this because you don't get reports all over the place like this without using the media right these are leaks these are insiders these insiders don't come up with i say insiders with air quotes a little bit there they don't come up with these stories out of whole cloth they have a source that they use inside the organization so i guarantee you ryan Poles is like all right let's leak today that we're trading fields let's see what happens see what's going on see how people react to it okay and and not to gauge their opinion just to kind of create confusion right he wants the other 31 NFL teams to have no idea what the Bears are thinking. Because the moment any team knows which direction the Bears are going to go or are leaning towards, the value of the potential Bears trade opportunities goes down dramatically. And potentially, whether it's trading out the number one overall pick or trading Justin Fields. Because I think they're probably going to trade Fields and go number one Caleb Williams, but we don't know yet because Ryan Poles is doing such a good job putting up all kinds of flags, all kinds of smoke screens all over the place. And I think that's the genius of what the Bears are doing right now. And I I think a lot of people are really, and I see this every day when I watch the news, they're really focused on the latest report. Oh, they, Justin Fields is gone. Oh, they love, they want to keep him in the fold. And I'm like, they've already, they decided, they know what they want to do. I think it's already decided. They'll do a little more draft evaluation, but I think for the most part, they know what to do. But right now they are literally putting out nothing but just confusion so that with the other 31 teams have no idea. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, for example, a team that's potentially linked to Justin Fields, you're sitting there right now going, you know, if they really if they really want to keep Justin Fields and we need a quarterback, boy, we better give up a lot to make sure we get Fields because there's a chance they may keep Justin Fields, right? Because then you put in a situation now the Steelers will overpay for Justin Fields. Or if you're a team like the Washington Commanders and like, you know, they may keep Justin Fields and then trade back number one behind us and, and let someone else leapfrog. And the commander's like, but we really want Caleb Williams. We don't want to get leapfrogged. Okay, let's 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 screw it. Let's call the Bears. Let's give them everything they ever want and move up to number one. Right? It's this kind of confusion. And the earlier you do it, you put that seed of doubt 
in other teams' minds. Because if you're the Steelers, you need a quarterback. Can you imagine if the Steelers go into the 2024 season with the same quarterback situation that they had this past season? That's not going to fly. Mike Tomlin's probably gone. Can you imagine new Washington Commanders regime, new new head coach, new ownership group? They go in there and they screw up this draft and they don't get what they need franchise quarterback wise. Can you imagine the new head coach, new GM regime going on in New England if they screw that up? Can you look at the Atlanta Falcons if they screw up their quarterback situation, how long that lasts? Again, the Bears are in a perfect position. They can let everybody else just get worried and concerned about what they're doing. And the exact thing the Bears needed to do was to not tilt their hand one way or the other. Not only are they not doing that, they're literally tilting their hand in every direction, which is confusing everybody, whether it's the media or other NFL front offices. Look, there's been a lot of reports either way about what the Bears are going to do, a lot of opinions either way. But I want to take this moment to recognize and give a round of applause to Ryan Poles, Warren, the entire front office for putting out the perfect smoke screen of all time so early in the offseason. Because I believe no matter what happens, whatever the Bears do, trade fields, trade out number one, combination of all the above, they will get the best value possible out of it because they forced other NFL teams to react to them.